Everybody on your job keep coming to you for advice, and you ain't even the manager, but you running the job because you're the one that carries the oil. Watch what the text says. Verse 14, verse 3 calls out. They arrested him. Wow. They arrested him, which means they stopped him. Look at clause B, same verse, verse 3, chapter 14, book of Matthew. And then they put handcuffs on him. It is only in the American culture that you assume arrest with handcuffs. What they did with Dylan Ruth was arresting him, but no handcuffs. They not just arrest John, but they uh, tie up his hand. For those of you who are biblically astute, this is somewhat reminiscent of Daniel chapter 3. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That because they refuse to bow down, King Nebuchadnezzar, y'all stay with me, tied up their hand. God, I got the wrong church in here. Yeah. So watch this, they didn't just tie up their hands. What did they do? Bound their feet. God help me. And then they made a critical mistake. They forgot to put a gouge in their mouth. This is crazy. Watch this. So they throw them in the foundry furnace. Their hands are tied. Their feet are tied. Look what Daniel 3 says. They get the mightiest men. Why did they get the mightiest men when Shadrach just 14? When the enemy attacks you, he does not attack you based off of your presence. He attacks you based off of your potential. I'm getting ready to say something. I hope y'all don't flip these chairs over. The sign that you are anointed is based off of what you went through between 14 and 17. God, I can't hear nobody. If you didn't go through nothing 14, 15, 16, 17, you ain't really anointed. But if you went through some stuff that children should never have to go through, but you still got your mind, would you thank God God covered you between 14 and 17? Stuff you went through between 14 and 17. Your best friend don't know about. God, I can't hear my body. Between 14 and 17, you suppress some stuff and try to act like it didn't happen. Y'all not talking back to me. Between 14 and 17, that's why you don't like going to family functions now. I can't hear nobody. You don't want anybody hugging you in your face when y'all know what happened to me. And you're trying to act like it didn't happen. But God said, if you shout tonight, I'm healing childhood scars. If you open up your mouth and the thing that happened to you while you were a child, you just got healed. Yes, sir. You see that I'm going to die three more times a day. You see that. Please. Daniel 3 says they got the mightiest men. Right, right, right. Tied up their hands, tied up their feet. Watch this. And threw them in the furnace. Yeah. 